keep pushing in the same direction consistently over time, eventually it becomes easier and easier to get the flywheel moving. You begin to build real momentum. Welcome to my channel, Rudy Romo here. The flywheel concept is a self-reinforcing cycle of momentum that drives growth in a business. The flywheel concept is based on the idea that small wins can accumulate over time to create a self-reinforcing cycle of momentum. The cycle can be created by focusing on a few key areas such as customer satisfaction, product innovation, and marketing. When these areas are aligned and working together, they can create a virtual cycle that drives growth. Here are some examples of companies that have used the flywheel concept to achieve success. Amazon. Amazon has used the flywheel concept to create a virtual cycle of customer satisfaction, product selection, and low prices. By focusing on customer satisfaction, Amazon has been able to attract more customers which has led to more product selection and lower prices. The cycle has helped Amazon to become one of the most successful companies in the world. Apple, Apple has used the flywheel concept to create a virtuous cycle of product innovation, brand loyalty, and high prices. By focusing on product innovation, Apple has been able to create products that people love. This has led to brand loyalty, which has allowed Apple to charge premium prices. The cycle has helped Apple to become one of the most valuable companies in the world. The flywheel concept is a powerful tool that can be used to drive growth in a business by focusing on a few key areas and creating a self-reinforcing cycle of momentum. Businesses can achieve great things. In the context of business, a flywheel is a positive feedback loop that helps a company to grow and succeed. The flywheel concept was popularized by Jim Collins in his book, Good to Great. A flywheel starts out slowly, but it gains momentum. It becomes easier and easier to turn. This is because the energy from the initial rotation is used to create more rotation, which in turn creates even more energy. Tesla's flywheel is based on the idea that the company's products and services are all interconnected. For example, Tesla's electric cars help to increase demand for solar panels, which in turn helps to create demand for Tesla's Powerwall battery system. This positive feedback loop helps Tesla to grow and succeed. Here are some of the flywheels that Tesla has created. Electric cars. Tesla's electric cars are helping to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and improve air quality. This is creating demand for solar panels and battery storage systems which are other products that Tesla sells. Solar panels and tiles. Tesla solar panels and tiles are helping homeowners and businesses to generate their own electricity. This is reducing their reliance on the grid and making them more energy independent. Smart battery storage systems. Tesla's Powerwall battery system can store energy from solar panels or the grid. This can be used to power homes and businesses during power outages or to provide backup power during peak demands. The AutoBetter software serves to maximize the efficiency of the system and provides each owner the potential to sell excess energy back to the grid or at least accumulate credits for future use. Cybertruck. The Tesla Cybertruck has the potential to be a very successful vehicle. It has a number of features that could appeal to buyers including a unique and futuristic design. The Cybertruck's design is unlike anything else on the market, and it could be a major selling point for some buyers. A high payload and towing capacity. The Cybertruck has a payload capacity of up to 3,500 pounds and a towing capacity of up to 14,000 pounds, which is more than many traditional pickup trucks. Long range. The Cybertruck is expected to have a range of up to 500 miles on a single charge, which is more than many other electric vehicles. Affordability. The Cybertruck is expected to start at less than 50K, which is less than other electric pickup trucks like Rivian and Ford Lightning. 
If the Cybertruck is successful, it could eventually outsell the Ford F-150, which is the best-selling pickup truck and vehicle in the United States. The Cybertruck has a number of advantages over the F-150, including its futuristic design, its long range, and its affordability. The Cybertruck could also change the way the exterior of future electric vehicles are designed. The Cybertruck's stainless steel body is paint-free, which would save manufacturers money and make it easier to recycle the vehicles. If the Cybertruck is successful, Tesla and other car makers may start to adopt a similar design for their electric vehicles. Optimus Bot Tesla's Optimus Bot is a humanoid robot that is still in development. However, it has the potential to revolutionize a wide range of industries, including manufacturing, logistics, and customer service. The potential of the Optimus Bot is so massive, it's difficult to quantify at a global level. The global labor market is well over a hundred trillions of dollars. Still on the subject of Optimus, Elon Musk announced on July 19, 2023 earnings call that Optimus would go into full production by November of this year. In fact, Tesla is already recruiting personnel in Sparks, Nevada for that purpose. This is huge and could be a powerful catalyst for Tesla stock. Dojo Supercomputer The supercomputer is a custom-designed supercomputer built by Tesla for the purpose of training machine learning models for its autonomous driving, full self-driving, and Optimus robot products. The Dojo supercomputer is capable of 1.8 exaflops of performance, making it one of the most powerful supercomputers in the world. Tesla plans to increase Dojo supercomputing power to 100 exaflops before the end of 2024. The Dojo supercomputer is designed to be able to process large amounts of data from Tesla's fleet of vehicles, which will allow Tesla to train its machine learning models more quickly and efficiently. This will help Tesla to improve the performance of its FSD and Optimus robot products. So what exactly is an exaflop? An exaflop is a measure of performance for a supercomputer that can calculate at least one quintillion floating point operations per second. In exaflop, the exa prefix means a quintillion, that's a billion billion or one followed by 18 zeros. I recommend you watch this exceptional video by the Tesla space dedicated to the Dojo supercomputer. I'll leave a link below. In addition to FSD and bot training, the Dojo supercomputer could also be used for a variety of other purposes, such as virtual reality and augmented reality. The Dojo supercomputer could be used to power virtual reality and augmented reality applications, such as gaming, training, and education. Drug discovery. The Dojo supercomputer could be used to accelerate drug discovery by stimulating the effects of different drugs on biological systems. Climate change research. The Dojo supercomputer could be used to model the effects of climate change on the environment. Artificial intelligence research. The Dojo supercomputer could be used to advance the field of artificial intelligence by enabling researchers to train more complex and sophisticated models. The potential uses of the Tesla Dojo supercomputer are still being explored, but it has the potential to revolutionize a wide range of industries. In fact, I'm almost certain that Optimus Bot will be a mini supercomputer on legs. We are looking at a truly amazing future. Here are some additional details about the Tesla Dojo supercomputer. It is made up of custom designed chips called D1 chips. It is designed to be energy efficient. It is scalable so it can be expanded as needed. And it is being used to train Tesla's FSD beta software and Optimus Bot. The Tesla Dojo supercomputer is a significant technological achievement and it has the potential to have a major impact on the future of artificial intelligence. Here are some additional powerful flywheels that Tesla has created as the company continues to innovate and grow. It is likely to create even more flywheels in the future. Global Supercharger Network Tesla's global supercharger network makes it easy for Tesla owners to travel long distances without having to worry about range anxiety. This is a major advantage for Tesla over other electric car manufacturers, and it helps to drive demand for Tesla's cars. Vertical integration. 
Tesla integrates most of its manufacturing process from the mining of raw materials to the assembly of vehicles. This gives Tesla more control over its supply chain and helps to reduce costs. Full self-driving real-world data. Tesla has been collecting real-world data from its fleet of self-driving cars for several years. This data is being used to train Tesla's self-driving software, which is one of the most advanced in the world. This same data is also crucial for training the Optimus bot. I will dedicate an entire video to address the potential of the bot. Suffice it to say, as I said before, Optimus has the potential to be a supercomputer on legs. Gigantic advantage in global EV manufacturing capacity. Tesla has a significant advantage in global EV manufacturing capacity. This is due to the company's gigafactories, which are large scale factories, cutting edge, that are dedicated to the production of electric vehicles and batteries. 4680 batteries. Tesla's 4680 batteries are a new type of battery that is more energy dense and cheaper to produce than traditional batteries. This gives Tesla a significant advantage in terms of battery costs, which is one of the most important factors in the cost of electric vehicles. As for the next flywheels, we got the $25,000 compact car coming up next year out of Giga Mexico. We have the lithium mining and refining uh, facility located in South Texas. We got wireless charging after Tesla acquired Wiferian. Heat pumps that could be possible in the residential, commercial, and industrial segments. These are just some of the flywheels that Tesla has created and will have in its future. As the company continues to innovate and grow, it is likely to create even more flywheels in the future. Finally, and to summarize, in his book, Good to Great, Jim Collins identifies the factors that distinguish companies that make the leap from being good to being great. Collins studied 1,435 companies in the U.S. from 1965 to 1995 and identified 11 companies that made the leap from good to great. These companies outperformed the market by at least 3 to 1 for at least 15 years. Good to Great is a classic business book that has been praised by CEOs, consultants, and academics alike. The book is a must read for anyone who wants to understand what it takes to make the leap from good to great. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe so that YouTube algorithms will get it to more people. If you disagree with any of the points made and or have any suggestions on how to improve future videos, please comment below.